Since its inception in the mid-1990s, Mount Owen Complex has showcased excellence in coal mining. 20 years on, it's also being recognised for excellence in mine rehabilitation. In March 2015, it was a major attraction for delegates of the International Mining for Development Centre, a partnership between the Federal Government, the University of Western Australia and the University of Queensland, designed to deliver best practice to developing nations as they build their mining industries. We've got 21 delegates from 12 developing nations. So some of the African component, Mongolia, Philippines, Indonesia, um, and some of the Pacific Islands as well. The groups come to Mount Owen to look at our environmental um, practices that we use here on the site um, with the sort of hope of taking some of those ideas and practices to their own operations around the world. The rehabilitation achievements here are compelling. This is undisturbed vegetation in the Ravensworth State Forest. And this is a former mined area just 17 years after rehabilitation. So this area was mined in the late 90s and it was rehabbed in 98. Um, so basically the process that we use on the site is once the dump is completed, we then shape it down to the required landform. We then place topsoil over the landform which has been collected as part of the mining operation. All this seed we then spread out here in our freshly spread topsoil, rip it in, um, and then this is basically what you're seeing now, uh, many years later. The next step is to encourage local fauna to return and take up permanent residence. So the squirrel gliders and native species are moving out of the Ravensworth State Forest into this rehab area. The spotted tail quoll has been encouraged back with the addition of rocky outcrops suitable for the establishment of dens. GPS tracking devices prove the endangered species is returning. Other species such as gliders are also being attracted with accommodation. Over time the trees that we've planted and seeded will develop hollows but in the short term we've been putting in uh, nest boxes and we're finding that the gliders are actually using those nest boxes um, within the first sort of 12 months of us actually establishing them. It's definitely a benchmark for mine rehab in the Hunter Valley, if not um, New South Wales. A lot of the techniques that we've developed here through um, our research program um, has actually been distributed out through the um, wider mining industries. In terms of certainly New South Wales standards and certainly I would think uh, across most of the um, coal sector in, in Australia, it's, it's, it's right up there and it's maintained that position for, for a number of decades now. You know, these are the kinds of things they would like to see happening in their countries. Um, some of the challenges that they face are slightly different, but overall they've been really impressed. I would think they would be fairly impressed with this in terms of a, of a coal site. And on behalf of the group, thanks very much for spending the time with us. It's such a good example of being able to um, show uh, people from uh, 12 developing nations that we have with us on this trip. Thanks very much for everything you did. Thank you.